two thirds sky and we are going to do a lift technique to create clouds and you can do a little atmospheric perspective drawing here which just means I'm going to create the illusion of some hills and we'll learn how to create different values so that, that we get this idea of depth. So the first part is going to be just the sky. We're going to do gradation in your sky and you can pick what color you wish to do. Remember to get used to mixing your own colors in your palette um, just for variety so that it doesn't get same boring colors. Remember gradated washes, we use a wet and wet technique and only put the water where you want it to go. So I'm kind of following along my hills here. So it doesn't go down below that. This is going to be just the sky. I have my color. When you're doing clouds, you're going to want to have a nice intense color so that you can see them. So try to use a good amount of paint. water to help pull that down. Sometimes the best thing is just a little time. Have some patience. kind of like this because it reminds me of the northern lights. kind of has that cool wave effect to it. All right, for your lift technique, you're going to use a tissue, and you are going to do just that. You're going to lift the color right off the paper. If you have a lot of water, you might notice that you are going to have that color flood back in. So you might have to babysit a little bit. Try not to get too patterny with your clouds. Have a little variety so it looks more natural. So I'm going to do a little thirsty brush here, lift that paint out. Now for the hills here. I'm going to use a similar color palette, similar colors, just a little variation. And to give this idea of depth, we want the colors to be a little more intense in the foreground, which is the closer one, and lighter in the background. So make sure you use the right size brush for the job. Use a bigger one if you're working in bigger areas. Just add a little more water. So lightens it up a bit. Even more water. And even more water still. So I'm just dabbing my brush in and basically just using a little bit of clean water to get that across. You do want to have some contrast so that there is a color difference. So you're working with different values. It's kind of like when you do a gradation scale, you want to make sure that all your grades are a little different. Otherwise they won't appear. Correct. You need to do a little lift technique, which can kind of help create some texture. Okay, 
I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do some dry brush on top of it. So if you need to, force dry with a hair dryer. If you want to practice some trees on top of this, this would be a good one. Or some dry brush. So you can practice some of your tree techniques. Uh, just make sure that when you're doing this, um, if you were doing a tree that is closer, it should be larger. If it is a tree that's farther away, it should appear to be a little bit smaller. It's the variety of the sizes that helps describe the distance as well as the color. So a little duller colors farther away, more intense colors closer. You can go ahead and put more trees in here. I'm just going to do a few and let you get going for today. Remember if you really want to get some nice crisp edges, you want to wait till stuff has dried. So if you want to get precise trunks, you can't be doing this when it's really wet. So you have to let it dry a little bit. This is why I have you do multiple paintings at once. You could do another painting and come back to this one and do the dry brush when it's all dry. Remember, you're not going to see much detail for the really far away one. You might just get this idea of a trunk and color good. some dry brush. Dry your brush off. Just pick up a little color. Not to get too patterny when you're doing the dry brush, otherwise it looks kind of awkward. In the background, you might not see a lot of dry brush. Um, it would just be a color change. If it's too far. Some people might want to do I like little dots of color, maybe they're part of little wild flowers here and there. Little dots of color. Okay. At some point you gotta tell yourself to be done. Okay, just be done. Don't overwork it. 